I guess I lost about half of my viewers just now, but uh, this is my snake, Bearish. I didn't really have anything to do tonight, so I figured I would do a short video uh, telling some of my viewers a little bit about me on a more personal level. I've gotten some comments asking, like, does Rob draw? Does Rob have pets? Stuff like that. Um, so I just wanted to make something brief, talk to you for a couple minutes. I am headed to a movie in about uh, 45 minutes, so i got to make this quick. I'm going to see Skyline tonight. Uh, so I'll do a review of that later tonight, hopefully have that up for you tomorrow. But uh, I wanted to bring you guys something because I haven't done a lot recently. So, first off, I would show you more, but it was feeding time. He hasn't eaten in about two weeks. This is my ball python. He's about a year and a half old. His uh, name is Bearish. If you guys don't know where that reference is from, why don't you guess? But it is my favorite movie of all time character, uh, so Bearish. Try to figure it out. Um, other than that, let's move on to some of my paintings, I guess I will show you guys. Because a lot of people have asked, uh, do you draw, do you paint, um, stuff like that. Well, it looks like I'm in the same spot, but Barish is still eating, swallowing now. But, uh, like I said, I want to go over a couple of my paintings that I've done, just to, to show you guys. I, I don't consider myself a professional. I do it very sporadically. I'll do like three paintings at a time, and then stop for a while. This is my most recent work that I'm working on. I was going for a um, a multi-medium uh, feel, like it's not just, I mean this is a, uh, the, the undercoating, it's actually not on a canvas at all, the undercoating is a patina of spray paint, um, and you can see it's actually got that on a wood shelf from one of that, uh, if you watched my um, things you should never do, move the Ikea furniture, it's from that. So I figured why not use these uh, shelving pieces as canvas, since canvas can be quite pricey. But uh, the, the feeling I was going for here, I mean it is just very whatever you take it, it means or whatever. But I was going for a mixed medium. So I threw in some like playing cards and stuff that I'm still working with. And this is no nowhere near done. There's still more things that have to be going into it. But this tree that I've made is actually constructed of paper mache using phone book. So I sat there for hours and hours and hours and hours one night, while watching movies of course, and I layered it up. Um, and gave it different, like, you can't see it, but it's very different depths. Like, some of it's very shallow, some of it bumps out, kind of like the bark of a tree. And I left some of it kind of, like, hanging off, kind of bark-like, and gave it a multi-layer color of uh, painting, brown, light brown, dark brown, stuff like that. And this, of course, is, uh, this is cardboard pieces that I used for uh, the actual leaves, the hard leaves. But like I said, it's still a work in progress. Uh, I was going for kind of like a, an abstract, because most of my paintings aren't abstract. So, like, I had done this one as well as I used the other shelf for this one. I don't know if you could see it. It's, uh, it's still being worked on as well. And uh, I also did, it, most of my work is in grayscales. And I did this one, which I'm actually kind of happy with. I might get it framed. I mean, take it again, it is abstract. Um, and a lot of people don't dig it. And I'm not a big fan of abstract myself. But it was fun to do. I mean, that looks like something you'd buy at, like, a print shop or something. Uh, and I, I really dig the overall, like, how it turned out and the drips, because it, it's, not, it's not as easy as it looks sometimes. You think it's just throwing paint or whatever, but a lot of this, I made it how I wanted it to look. So I did enjoy making it, and I think that's one of the biggest things, is having fun while you actually, like, are making the, uh, the piece. Now, a lot, like I said, I started out not doing grayscales at all. I, um... I was doing color uh, paintings. Uh, one of my first pieces, uh, actually let me get it for you, is um, this one right here. It's called Almost There. Like I said, it was a color piece. And there's just this concept of, uh, it's supposed to be me in my red hoodie climbing from the earth to the moon. It's very cartoony, but a lot of, a lot of what I want to do a lot is, um, is like children's illustrations. Uh, maybe in another video I'll show you the wall upstairs I've made of giant like montage of um, using construction paper and markers and stuff on our giant living room wall of a giant collage of just wackiness like movie characters, personal friends, uh, sc scenery, castles, all kinds of stuff and it's basically just one big fun mess and I have a rule where if someone visits uh, our place uh, frequently enough like within like 
you know, a short period of time, I will make a construction cutout paper per version of them doing something that they're known for, and I will put them on the wall. So it's just, I keep active and I keep doing like a lot of different things. So I don't only have interest in movies, just creativity in general, but I'll go through the other ones pretty quickly. Then I, I realized this was my first one. I actually have it framed because it's one of my favorites. It's, um, I realized that I could do grayscales. Now this one is, uh, is called in the, uh, the pale moonlight. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, uh, it was going, it's very busy, but it's all painted in just black and white uh, with using black and white paint to get grayscales and different you know tones and textures and it's basically just this anonymous couple on this moonlight uh, moonlit night in the mountains uh, on the side of a highway and it's very you know nothing there's no real straight edges the buildings are wacky and whatnot but I was going for like this feel like with these these uh, these satellite uh, you know how you see those cell phone towers and all and the car going up the side of the hill it was a, just a big mixture of like maybe like something you would see in a dream sometimes you don't always dream in color and that's kind of what I was thinking about it was like this was like just the the remnants of a dream waking up one night I don't know if you can see that really well but I really had a lot of fun doing this one and from that I realized like hell I'm not very good with color I've done other things with color like this piece that's really all over the place um, and I'm not really good with color and it never seems to do what I want it to do. Like, I could get trees and shadowing and stuff like that, watching the Bob Ross stuff. But it, I never get it to do what I want. So I, I was like, well, you know what? I did, like, Oogie Boogie, just messing around. And I was like, I can actually do, like, these grayscales, and they look pretty decent. And the more I got into it, the more I started, I started practicing originally with, like, self-portraits. This was one of my first self-portraits. I didn't give this one a name. But I kind of came out looking like Japanese animation-esque. Like, I don't know. I think out of this, my nose, if you look at my nose, I don't know if you can see it in the shadow with the light and all, but if you see my nose, and then you see this nose on this painting, right, I think it, it looks pretty close. As Of all the paintings I've done, the nose on this is, like, really good. Of course, the eyes are too giant, and I was experimenting with things and learning how to do certain styles. And don't let anyone ever tell you that you can't do certain things. I had a girlfriend who got really mad at me uh, because she took art in school and I had outlined like my features with black and she was like, you're not supposed to outline it. You gotta blend it and make it look... It's art. You could do whatever you want to do. You know, as long like this one is sort of like a, another self-portrait of myself and I made it kind of creepy with like the eyes being blacked out because I wasn't really trying to focus on the eyes and this was more of a... I did an experiment with Photoshop where I took an existing picture of myself and I would use the filters and do that cutout mode, and I would see the different cutouts, and I would build and build and build on top of it until I came up with something, you know, that I was kind of happy with. Now, I know an artist's worst critic is themselves, and uh, a piece of art is never truly, you know, finished. It's merely abandoned. So, like, none of these I'm really, like, 100% happy about, and I'll say I'm not an artist. But, I mean, I, I got them to the point where I was like, I can't work on this anymore. This is where I want it to be. So that's what I left it at. But I was pretty happy with how this one turned out. A lot of people, they're like, I don't see it. If you saw the original picture of me, uh, you, it's pretty close, minus like the eyes, and I made it look a little bit more straight edge because I was giving it a creepy look. But then, let's see, I did, um, if you know Anthony from my movie reviews, I'd done one of him, but I think it looked more like Michael Jackson or a girl. But everybody seems to dig it. I think he's kind of awkward looking, but like again, the grayscales is a style that I really you know, like doing and I appreciate, so I kind of stick with it and I enjoy doing it. And actually, these paintings, you would think they took me a long time. They only take me, you know, it's about three hours, and that's mostly trial and error. And I mean, a lot of people are like, hell, they don't look good. You could tell they only took three hours. But like I said, for just fun, this isn't like I'm not a professional and I'm just doing this to have fun. I really enjoyed, like, having this as a side hobby. If you've ever seen the movie uh, Willow, uh, with Mark Northover the midget that plays Burgle Cut in the beginning. He's like the mean prefect that bosses him around. I did uh, a cartoon character of Burgle Cut. And uh, this is, if you've seen the internet sensation of the retarded chef, not to poke fun at retards or retarded people. I know that even sounds saying it bad. But uh, he, he was kind of like, I thought it was a funny viral video and inside joke with friends and whatnot. This is Merrill Howard Kalen of the Merrill Howard Kalen Cooking Show. Welcome. And uh, Burgle Cut, and since they both are actually dead in real life, I did a, like a, like them in heaven. This is called uh, Best Friends Forever. 
uh, painting. It's more of a joke, but um, this one uh, is actually, it's called Dark um, Secrets. Uh, the idea was, uh, it looks like teeth here, but it's actually a mime with his mouth, uh, with like one of those, like in Beetlejuice, his mouth played it shut. And again with the eyes. And he's, uh, I was practicing with this one trying to get a hand right because, you know, human body for me is really difficult to do. And like I said, I'm not an artist. I didn't take any art classes ever for the record. This is just me freehand playing around with paints. And I did like how he's turning a light bulb on or off, up to you. Um, most of these, I have no idea what I'm doing until I actually just start painting and then something free forms. This one, going with that same theme, this was kind of like a shark with a human face. I don't, I, I to explain this, I can't. It, like I said, it, it, I didn't have an idea. I just started painting, and I painted what felt right. And like I really enjoy how some of these come out because like you kind of make your own style as you go along. This one going with uh, with what I was doing before with painting people and all. I took a picture of Allie. It doesn't really look much like Allie, but it kind of looks like a gypsy. And I, I, I was just more so practicing on the human features. I, I tend to notice that my style is to exaggerate features to make them larger than what they are. But like again. I, I really like the nose I was pretty happy with. The eyes are a little large, but like trying to get that right and actually like shading that and coloring that and getting that into what you want can be really difficult. And I, I don't want to say frustrating because I never really got frustrated. It was more so it's just like, hmm, this didn't work. Let me see how I'll do it. Hmm, this didn't work. Let me see how I'll do it and figure it out. Um, finally, well, not finally, the two more. Uh, big ones. This one is one of my favorite. It, you can't see a lot. This goes with the, the theme of what you don't see. Uh, in shadow, like I like black and white films where the more you don't see ledge, you imagine what's there and stuff like that. This was actually based off a, of a picture um, from a long time ago of a couple laying down. Um, you can't really see it, but this is the, the guy. You can't see his face, and you can only see the girl's fa face. And it's it's just one of those like I I really enjoy it because it just it feels natural to me. It feels like you know like an original painting, it's not something that's carbon copied or you would see a million times or taken a style or anything like that. It just feels like something that's like real to me. I don't know. It's just one of my favorites. It called, uh, it's called Dream It Never Ends. And two more. This is uh, one of the one of the large ones I've done. This is a uh, another self-portrait. It's of myself again because that's myself and the only thing I have to paint off of sometimes. And uh, it looked kind of odd. I was going for this lighting thing, working with lighting and all in the film industry and, and lighting, f you know, photographs and stuff. You kind of try to, like, project that into your photos. Now, I didn't have a photo to base this off of. Uh, it was just me sitting in a basement. So I did this whole theme. It looks a little odd over here, but for what I was going for, like, the neck really worked well and, and the jawline, at least the shape of the face, and at the time I had longer hair, I really dug it, and like the features are a little exaggerated and all, but like I said, that's because the lighting was was awkward. Um, and then this is one of my favorites. This is probably I think the last one I had done before the the abstract ones. Uh, this is based off of a photo of me. Um, I don't really paint. I mean, like I said, the, the the ones with creatures and stuff like that are from I just paint from my mind. The ones with people are usually I look at them or you know I look at a photograph. This one is me in the snow. Uh, but sometimes, depending on how I look at it, it feels a lot different. Like, it feels like it could be, like, the, uh, the close-up on the, the front battle lines of something with, like, soldiers and all behind, like a knight. But I just really, really, really liked how this one turned out. Like, I really felt like the facial features and the shadowing and the light and everything and, the, and just my expression all, it really captured... Me and my best moments of like, ha, you know, this is who I am. I know that sounds weird, but this this is probably one of my, if I were to say best paintings that I've ever done, this would probably be one of my best. Um, next time I'll, I'll get back with you guys, maybe show you, like I said, the wall uh, that I've done and maybe uh, the Legos that I collect or any other one of the little aspects. If you guys have any questions about who I am, you know, I feel free to send me a message, and if I get time, you know, I'll shoot you a video. I, it's been very hectic lately with trying to get movie reviews and stuff done because I started a new job, full-time job, 9 to 5. I feel like I'm a grown-up. But, um, but yeah, it's just uh, one of those things. you got to push me sometimes, and you got to inquire. Someone inquired about do I paint and draw and stuff like that. This is the paintings I do. 
So sorry to run on and on, but if, uh, I mean, there's more, but these are my favorites. And uh, I just wanted to share them with you. So thank you for tuning in. I hope I didn't lose a lot of you from Bearish. Looks like he's all done and uh, full now and walking around or crawling around. And uh, and if you send me a message if you get where Bearish is from, too. Till uh, later on tonight when I review Skyline.